Yeah. And shout out to everybody. Welcome to the class. I'm going to be also posting the link in the WhatsApp group for everybody who just arrived. Uh, zero nine, zero nine, zero nine, zero nine. So Forex is an, so it's an awesome thing if you want to learn how to trade. And I'm giving you, I'm giving you guys two weeks and we'll be full, like full, 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 full. Because right now, this is the season that God wants to produce serious millionaires and he wants to do it in numbers. He wants to do it in a massive scale. So we need to do this. And I'm super excited. I've done all the preparations to make sure that this takes place and that many more students will join us on these live videos because financially, things are about to go crazy, okay? Financially, things are about to go crazy. Many of you already seen it with your own two eyes and your family at your workplace. You've seen that the economy is taking a knock, a serious knock. And I spoke about this earlier in the year that this will take place especially under the words of my spiritual father, Major One, who also highlighted it. But I have a responsibility to speak about this more than any other person in, in the prophetic because I'm in the market. I'm in the, I've been trading for 11 years, right? So uh, let, me, let, me show you, let me show you something. Let's just uh, invite the other people. Uh, and I'm welcoming everybody who's joining us for the first time and joining us for the fifth time, 100th time. Thank you for your continued support. Okay, now let's go into mentorship class live. Okay, so a lot of you guys don't understand why I'm slowing down in my trading. I don't want to trade too much before the, the markets get really volatile. Right now is the time for you to pray fast, prepare, you know, you know, your, 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 your whole trading career. It's about to explode. And a lot of people are rushing now based on a need of money. But you must understand we don't trade because we need money. No, no, no. no. We don't trade because we need money. I know that sounds crazy. But we trade to prove that God exists. Ah. Am I speaking to somebody? Uh, give me a like or text me in the chat if you understand what I just said. I said, we don't trade Forex for money. No, no, no. That comes as a result. We, we trade Forex to seek the kingdom. Okay. So we trade so that we can prove that Jesus Christ exists, that he, through his power, gives us the ability to make money on the market. That is why money comes as a surplus. Okay. Seek ye first and then the kingdom, and then all his righteousness, and then only then shall all these things be added unto you. So the substance of money, it's given to you as a byproduct, as an output of the input of the love of God that you have for Forex. And Forex is just one of those ways that you can connect to Jesus Christ, because at the end of the day, Jesus is in everything. The Bible says that in all things were made through him, by him, for him. Okay. The Bible says that Everything was made through him. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was flesh, and the word be dwelt among us, and the word resurrected and was exalted. Okay, so it is important for you to understand that. Right? Uh, so let me uh, send the last link to the other uh, group. Right? Mm, yeah. So my understanding of the market, it only came when I understood what is it to understand the word of God. If you understand the word of God, then you'll have a point of reference. Every time you trade, you'll have a point of reference. Right now, our point of reference is the life of Rachel. Somebody type there, Rachel anointing. In the VIP, I know you guys just arrived now. I'm teaching you guys about the Rachel anointing, okay? And the Rachel anointing, it's an anointing of favor, okay? So a lot of you, God is about to favor you in the month of September in Forex. You're about to make serious money, serious money, like a lot of money because of favor, not because you, you, you understand trading, you've been trading for many years, not because you, you analyze the markets like better than anybody else. No, simply because the favor of God is upon you in this season because spring is a month of birth and, 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 and Rachel gave birth to two of Jacob's children. And remember, Jacob became Israel. And Israel is now the nation that belongs to God and that has a covenant with God. And God is a God of covenant. So you, through this 
Rachel anointing will establish a covenant with God whereby whatever you touch must prosper. Okay, because there is something behind Rachel. Let me get to the point here. It says here, okay, once Jacob reached Haran, he met some, some shepherds. Uh, okay, let me get to the point. Let's go to the end of it, okay. Uh, in a nutshell, I don't want to read like, like three paragraphs of stuff, okay. But the whole story behind Jacob and Rachel was that Jacob wanted to marry Rachel, and he asked Jacob, uh, Rachel's father, Laban, to give her him as a wife. So, but the deal was that Jacob was going to work, he was going to work for Laban and be a shepherd, a forex trader, to trade different sheep, okay? And his, his, main, his main responsibility was to, uh, to uh, mix the sheep, okay? So think of the sheep as forex currency pairs. So his aim was to take the sheep, whether it's a USD czar or a USD, uh, a USD CAD, or he was supposed to mix to come up with a profit to come up with a profitable or a mature purebred sheep. And in all the sheep that were not pure, he was to keep. So he became a millionaire in the process of trading, in the process of trading. He was trading sheep. The commodity that he was trading was sheep, okay? So he was a shepherd. A shepherd, a shepherd is also a trader, okay? So people, they don't understand when we say forex, there's a hardest forex. No, forex means to trade. It's foreign exchange foreign exchange it doesn't mean money no it, you can exchange anything that's why on the forex market you've got nasdaq which is trading of companies then you've got uh the, the 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 gold which is the trading of physical gold then you've got uh silver you trade in silver then you've got uh coffee you've got soybeans you've got wheat you've got all these commodities that are now even livestock you can trade it on the forex market even bitcoin now you can trade it on the forex market which means Forex trading has been happening. It's business. Forex means business, to trade, mean, meaning to trade something for a low pro, uh, price for, to a higher price and take the difference, which is the profit, okay? So here we are. We want to know what made Jacob to prosper was the fact that he was connected to Rachel. The main reason why he became a trader was so that he could marry Rachel. That's what attracted the favor, the, the favor that God put upon the life of Rachel. Because remember, even the first time that, uh, who's this, uh, Jacob wanted to get married to Rachel, after seven years of trading sheep, he had become a millionaire, but he had not become a millionaire to the extent whereby he would get the right wife. When it came the day where he was supposed to marry Rachel, the father of Rachel switched his daughters. So he gave her Leah instead of Rachel. And now Jacob married Leah instead of Rachel. But Jacob didn't stop there. He said, no, 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 no. You are cheating me. Because I wanted Rachel, there must be a double blessing. Because the reason why the father switched the daughters is because they were, that Leah was older, yet she was not married yet. So the father switched the daughters in the night and then, or at the wedding, she was wearing a veil. But even at night, he switched. So what happened was he, he was supposed to benefit from just Rachel, but he ended up getting another wife, a double portion. He got Leah as a bonus. And then from there, the father said, no, 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 I understand. Okay, fine. That, you know, I gave you the wrong daughter. What can I do for you? Jacob said, no, no, give me your wife, your daughter as a wife after seven days. And I will work another seven years to repay for her. So which means Jacob traded for 14 years, but he came up with two wives and he was filthy rich with the anointing of Rachel. It is because it was not the anointing of Leah that caused Leah to get married. Are you understanding me? It was not the anointing of Leah that resulted in Leah being a wife of Jacob. It was the anointing upon Rachel. It was the Rachel who was, had a beauty that was abnormal. She was beautiful beyond abnormal, not just beautiful in you know, physical appearance, but the Bible says she was favored in the eyes of the Lord, meaning God loved her character, okay? God loved her character. So I'm going to go deeper with this. There's a, there's a company 
There's a company. I want to give you an example, which, which, which has the Rachel anointing upon it. And this is a prophecy, okay? Because I was seeing a lot of visions about this. And there's a woman who's going to be a billionaire, okay, in Africa within the next five years. Because God has shown me already, she's a young lady, she's in business, but God showed me she's already going to be a multi-billionaire in cosmetics and uh, beauty and all this other stuff. And God showed me because God, he is trying to raise young people who fear him, who will be people of greatness. Okay. And right now God is hiding her, but she will come on. But I already know who that person is. Okay. So now God is saying to me, there's a Rachel anointing. And let me show you an example of a company which has a Rachel anointing. Okay. That, that became successful in this particular trading. Okay, so the company call, is called L'Oreal, 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 L'Oreal. Who knows this company? L'Oreal, L'Oreal, okay, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, L'Oreal. And then I'm going to go to uh, L'Oreal, the company. Just type there L'Oreal. For all those who are into makeup, they know. And all those who are into uh, business, they've heard of this company. And if we go into the L'Oreal uh, Wikipedia page, right? If we go into the L'Oreal Wikipedia page, we'll be able to get a little bit more uh, insight as to uh, what is the story behind this company. There's a, God gave me the name of this company and he said, go and research on this company. I was like, what do you mean? I don't, I'm not into makeup. I don't even know what is a foundation. I've heard of foundation, but uh, I don't even know what that is. But God says this company is very important for you to understand the Rachel anointing because uh, it's just prophetic. You know, some of us, we can see certain things that we are not allowed to reveal. Uh, but anyway, uh, let, me, let me show you. Can you guys see that in VIP? You can see we are on the uh, L'Oreal uh, page, okay? On, on Instagram, bear with us, okay? So I'll show you something here. So it says L'Oreal is a French personal care company, okay, registered in Paris. It is the world's largest cosmetics company. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I thought Revlon is the world's largest cosmetic company. I thought MAC is the world's largest cosmetics company. But God revealed to me in a vision, he said, the woman who I'm raising up, who has the ritual anointing in Africa right now, she's busy in Africa right now. She is going to build a company just like L'Oreal. It will be as big as L'Oreal. It's going to be massive. And she will be under, she already understands trading. Okay. This woman already understands like how, you know, if I buy something in Japan and I import it into South Africa and it will cost this much and I'm able to manufacture it locally and do it this, you know, God is just showing me certain things about this young lady. Okay. And she's already in this business. Okay. But God is saying she's got a wisdom. This wisdom is because of the Rachel anointing that she, she has. She, if, I don't know if she knows, but I think she knows. I think she was raised to understand who she is in the spirit because in the spirit, God wants to raise her because God, you know, in, in, it's the same anointing that was upon the life of David's wife, which was Bathsheba. Right. And remember Sheba also was the wife of Solomon. Okay. So the anointing that was upon the mother of Solomon came down onto his wife as well. And his wife was a Forex trader. Okay. Queen Sheba of Egypt. So now I was like, I'm trying to understand, how is this connected to L'Oreal? Because God says, no, it's connected to personal care, beauty products, makeup, and fashion, and fashion. Because God is going to raise uh, a billionaire around this thing, okay? So let's go and see how much is this company worth, okay? I'm a numbers person, okay? So it says here, it's the world's largest cosmetics company and has developed activities in the field of hair color, skin care, sun protection, makeup, perfume and hair care, exactly what the Lord said to me, okay? And then it says, it says, the revenue of this company is 29 billion euros in 2019. So if you are a young lady there, you think you're going into a business and you are on Instagram or you are somewhere, you're trying to do business, God is just speaking about you guys today. He says that this 
is a year where you will begin to now make things happen quickly for you guys. You know, many people are undermining women on Instagram and saying this thing, it doesn't have money. You know, this influencing thing is a fake thing. Not everybody is going to be a traditional Forex trader, but the ritual anointing is upon you. And also the, the, the Forex traders who are watching me in my VIP class, they can benefit from this anointing because this anointing, it is of a beauty related personal care related type of anointing okay so i'm i'm talking to all those who are watching because i've got a lot of young ladies who are watching who I'm, I'm mentoring them to become millionaires also in this influencing thing of fashion of uh, of uh, makeup of uh, personal care skin care sunscreen all that jazz fashion all that stuff but look at this company this company its operating income is 5 billion euros net income is 4.3 billion euros total assets is 43 billion euros and it is currently employing 86,000 people right so this is a company that started from somewhere okay so i want you to understand something okay that the 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 the, the anointing of rachel was upon the founders of this company look listen to this in 1909 to 1956 the first steps constructing a model Eugene Paul Louis Schuller, a young French chemist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it say chemist? And of German descent. You see, there's, there's an anointing of specializing. You cannot become someone who is great unless you have a skill. This person was a chemist. Okay, because even when I look in the spirit, this young woman, she's got a pharmaceutical background. That's why God will raise her to be a millionaire because in, in, her, in, her, in her history, in her family history, there's a pharmaceutical chemistry background, okay? And this pharmaceutical chemistry background, it's what is pushing her forward in life, okay? And, and this is a prophecy. You might connect. If you want to connect to this prophecy, you can type, I connect, I connect, I connect, I connect. Because many of you, you don't even know what your forefathers specialized in. And you don't even know why you are good at certain things that you're doing now. It's because there's a descendant anointing, right? So if you look at the Jacob, Jacob was a shepherd because his forefathers were shepherds. Ay, 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 ay. Jesus became the shepherd of the world because of Jacob being a shepherd. David was a shepherd. He was a king. He became a king, but he was a shepherd. When prophet Samuel located and anointed him, he anointed him while he was tending sheep. Okay? Now, Isaac was a shepherd. Abraham was a shepherd. You must understand that. Like, you mustn't just say, I, I want to wake up, I want to be this. No, no, no. I know in my family, 400 years ago, my forefathers were traders, forex traders. I have a book in my family where it's written there that they used to trade in gold, in silver, in linen, in all these things, in spices. And they used to trade with people from India, from Persia, from, from all these places, from China, for, we're using silk and all that jazz. So I knew that if I was going to be a forex trader, that's why when I met my father, Major One, he reaffirmed it that, no, I as a prophet, I know the lineage of where your family line is coming, comes from and what you should be specializing in, what business you must do. So some of you, you are here as a forex trader. You don't even know why. But let me tell you something. Somewhere, somehow, your forefathers, they were trading. You were, some of you, you are maybe working a nine-to-five job right now. You're wondering why? Am I still working here? Yeah, it's because you're questioning it because inside you, there's a, something that is questioning you to say, do you know you're not supposed to be working nine to five? You're supposed to be trading. You're supposed to be touching foreign currency. Who says I connect to that? Who says I connect to that? So this person here, it says, Eugene Paul Louis Schuller, a young French chemist of German descent, developed a hair dye formula called Oriel, Oriel. Now understand this, this person was an inventor. Jacob was an inventor. The Bible says that when Jacob was, 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 was uh, using uh, breeding sheep, he used to, used to make the sheep to mate, to make babies while they were looking at certain colors. And when they looked at certain colors while they were mating, 
they were able to produce sheep of certain colors. I.e. So you, when you're looking at the Forex market, because you will be having this Rachel anointing, you will be connected to being able to yet to understand that when I look at the market, I must be able to see which currency pairs must I mix in order to come up with the right formula. The same way this chemist here of L'Oreal, who is now no longer living, he was living in 1909, but till today his company is a multi-billion dollar company worth 50 billion euros. So to some people, you won't understand what I'm saying, but I'm saying to you, God spoke to me about this company. And he also spoke to me about a young lady who is in Africa now. He's raising her to be a multi-billionaire in this cosmetics business. And he says in her family also, there is a lineage. Even right now, there's a lineage in her family where they are operating in the business of chemistry and pharmaceutical. And, but God says she must stick on that. She must stick on that. Because when she sticks on that, she must develop these products. When you develop these products, you must now patent them. Because I'm seeing a frustration, a limitation in the spirit where, you know, sometimes we want to come up with something and it doesn't materialize because we, our vision is so big. But you need a son of a prophet to speak a word. When he speaks a word, because he's a forex trader, your international doors must open. Your prophetic gates in the north, the south, the east, and the west, they must open. Who says, I connect, I connect, I connect, I connect, I connect. I need someone who's going to open. Maybe some of you, you've never even touched a dollar. You've never even touched a dollar. Is there anybody here who says, I've never touched a dollar? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Uh, is there someone who says, I've never touched a dollar? I've never touched a dollar. Can you imagine? Even now, there is a sheep, a sheep worldwide that is called the Jacob sheep. Because of the anointing of Rachel that was upon uh, Jacob, okay? Because he had committed and made a covenant to marry her, God gave him wisdom. God gave him imagination. God gave him creativity. God gave him the ability to trade sheep. The Bible says he became wealthy through livestock. He was a trader. Uh, let me show you Jacob, Jacob sheep. Jacob sheep. Look at this. There's a sheep till this day that is called a Jacob sheep because of a man said, I want to marry that woman. Simple. God released wisdom upon that man. God opened more. God opened. Listen, the Bible says, uh, the, 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 the Wikipedia says, the Jacob sheep is, the, is a British breed of domestic sheep. It combines two characteristics unusual in sheep. I've never even heard of this. I've never even seen this. But God has revealed it to us today because of what he just told me, Rachel anointing. Rachel anointing, type it there, Rachel anointing. People, they think, no, that, uh, who's this? Jacob was, was, became rich because of his, his own abilities. No, 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 no. It was because he committed, when he arrived in the, name, in the land of Haran, he was broke. He was broke. He had just come from running away from his uh, brother, Esau. He was broke. He had nothing. He, had, he was troubled in the spirit. He didn't know whether he was going forward or what. But God blessed him because he committed himself to working in order to acquire a wife. But when he acquired the wife, he, did, he didn't select the wrong wife. No, no, no. He selected the right one. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you see this? Can you see this in the VIP? Can you see this? It says, the Jacob is a British sheep of domestic sheep. Look how big it is. It's actually got four horns. Four horns. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which sheep have you ever seen with four horns? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Did you even know that there's a, a sheep called Jacob's sheep? I didn't even know that. But the, today the Holy Spirit has revealed it to us. That there's a sheep called the Jacob's sheep. And it says it combines two characteristics unusual in sheep. It is piebald, dark colored with areas of white wool. And it is often polycerite or multi-horned. Imagine a sheep with multiple horns. Not just two, not just two horns. It can have four horns. Can you imagine? You must Google it, Jacob sheep, Jacob sheep. Just check that, a Jacob sheep. I've never seen a sheep with these horns. Who's, who's ever seen this before? I've never seen this before. A sheep, let me show you on my other phone, guys, so that you can attest to what I'm saying. A Jacob sheep. 
a Jacob sheep. A Jacob sheep. It was not because Jacob, you know, that's why in the, in the word of God, many people are failing to understand and failing to mature in the things of God is because they look at it the way they were taught. They don't interpret it the way God is interpreting it to them. So even in your forex trading, don't just take what I say. Also expand it in your own ability. Whatever you see, you must also have your own understanding. Look at the sheep. Look at the sheep. It has four horns. Let me show these people on Instagram. I think they're going to be shocked to see this. They will be shocked to see this. Look at this. Look at the sheep. Can you see the sheep? Look at this. Can you see the sheep? Have you ever seen a sheep like this before? Have you ever seen a sheep like this before? This is, this is glory to God. Look at this. And this sheep was actually invented by Jacob. He was, it, was in, it, was, it was bred by Jacob because he was connected to marrying Rachel. And God had favored Rachel with beauty. So if you're talking about a beautiful sheep, I don't know, I've never seen a sheep this beautiful. You know, I, beauty of sheep is not as like the beauty of a human being. I can tell you now that this sheep is not cheap. This is a very expensive sheep. Okay? This is a very expensive sheep. But because God remembered a certain lady, God says, God will raise you up to be a billionaire and your, your, your family will never be the same again. Jesus is Lord. May, can somebody say glory to God? Glory to God. Type the glory to God. You see, the spirit of wisdom is connected to the prophetic. The, the spirit of revelation is connected to the prophetic. You've never even seen this. But Jacob, uh, you see, the thing is that people they think that the Bible is uh, a place where you, you hear fairy tales and you, you hear about... Uh, you know, children's storybooks. No, 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 no. What you read in the Bible, it's actually what took place. It's what is taking place. Some of you, you're looking for a, a logical way to become billionaires or become millionaires, but God does not use logical. No, no, no. God uses supernatural. So supernatural, you can see that this, this sheep, it's miraculously born. And a sheep that is miraculously born like this is not just born because of scientists. There were no scientists, there were no, but, but let me tell you something, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. There was no scientist in those days. There was no scientist. But Jacob was a prophetic scientist. He was able to use his prophetic eye to envision a different type of sheep, yet it had not been developed before. This is not a, a software or developing an app. No, 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 no. This is developing natural a manipulating nature to produce more beautiful animals i i remember when my father major one was teaching us about this particular anointing now i know what he was foreseeing in the realm of the economy you see some of us when we see the sheep we don't just see a sheep we are able to see countries we are able to see the economy we are able to see a, a prophetic gesture in whatever the picture of that sheep is so i have never seen that sheep on my mother's life. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen that sheep before in my life. But God has revealed it today to us for a purpose, for a reason. There's a reason why God is remembering us here today. He wants us to understand the, the, the Rachel anointing. Okay. So we're going to go back to this particular story of this company. Okay. This company is making 29 billion euros a year. How much are you making out of that company? You should be trading that share price because right now the share of L'Oreal is 277 euros for one share. Imagine how much that share of that company is going to be worth if all these women are on Instagram using makeup and buying personal care products. Go on all the pages of the ladies who I'm following and other people are following now. You will see they are all posting. They have received boxes of uh, personal care products they've received boxes of uh, uh, clothing all of them are trying to sell but a lot of them their their businesses will begin to prosper when i'm going to begin to pray for them okay god is just saying that i don't know i don't know but god says because of the anointing upon your, your spiritual father who's a major prophet which means he's the sharpest prophet in the entire world you now are the intercontinental ballistic missile son of a major prophet. Meaning, whatever you declare, it passes through the same passageway. It passes through the same prophetic doors. So a lot of the international doors, this is an international conglomerate. I don't want people this year who want to say, I want a business that's going to be local. I, 
No. No, no, no. I'm looking for people with a vision. It's the year 2020. 2020 normally represents vision. When they say you've got vision, a doctor says you've got good vision. They say you have 2020 vision, which means 20% this side, 20%, 2020, 2020, which means full vision. You're not just uh, thinking local. No. For Jacob to produce a sheep with four horns, he needed a 2020 vision. He needed a shatam anointing. So let's go back to the, the, the word here because we need to back up everything we say with the word, okay? So let me finish the, the first paragraph of this company so that you will see something. It says, Eugene Paul Louis Schuller, a young French chemist of German descent, developed a hair dye formula. What is a formula? It's a prophecy. It's like a, a, a formula is like figures, numbers. It's even when God designed you, he used a formula, a unique formula. You are a unique, you're not just a anybody. You mustn't just talk anyhow. You must not just hang around the wrong people. You must not just, uh, you know, go to the wrong places. No, you need to understand that there's a time and a place for everything. I'm not expecting you to be perfect. I want you to be perfected. Aye. Oh, and perfection is a process. Perfection is a process. You don't just arrive and become perfect. No, no, no. There's a process of learning that you must go through and experiencing what is meant for you. That is what perfection is about. So let's look at this. It says that Schuller formulated and manufactured his own products. You will never be a, pro, a billionaire selling somebody else's product. Never. Forget it. Lesa. All the billionaires in the world, Microsoft, uh, Oracle, uh, GoPro, uh, 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 Gucci, uh, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, L'Oreal, they were developed by an individual who was using the ritual anointing. Many of you don't even know why I'm successful to this day. I'm successful to this day because I'm connected to a particular female. I'm connected to a particular prophet. I'm connected to a particular mother. I'm connected to a particular father. I'm connected to a particular student. There are certain people that I invite in my life and there are certain people that I let go of because at that time, God says no or yes. And there's nothing I can do about it. If God says, stay with this person, I love everybody. You've seen, I'm a loving person. But if God says, distance yourself from this person, go closer to them. And it might be for a short time. It might be for a long time. But it is all about understanding the Rachel anointing, the favor of God. Where is the favor of God situated? And you must not use carnal eyes to, you know, associate yourself with people. Because sometimes you associate yourself with the wrong person, thinking that that is where prosperity is, or thinking that is where blessing is. No, you must use your spiritual wisdom to discover where is the favor lying? Where is the ritual anointing situated? Let me tell you something. When Jacob went to Laban, the father of Leah and the father of Rachel, he knew that his favor was with Rachel. So he stuck with Rachel. And he was willing to wait. He was willing to wait for seven years because of the character, because of the character that was upon Rachel's life. He saw that there was a difference between Rachel and, and Leah. There was a difference. Yet Leah was older. The more mature one was Rachel. So you need to understand, you must not just go with numbers just because it looks like, no, the one is older just because they're more mature because they're old. No, sometimes you need to now allow God to show you, to reveal to you what is what, who is who in the zoo, okay? So let me go into the finishing of this uh, reading. It says, which he then decided to sell to Parisian hairdressers. On the 31st of July, 1919, Schuller registered his company. Societa Francesa de Trinchas, inoffensive Paul Jevaux. I, I don't know if I said that properly, I'm not French. The guiding principles of the company, which was eventually became L'Oreal, were 
research and innovation, research and innovation. I always say at my seminars that Africans and international people, we suffer from something called RDS, research deficiency syndrome. We lack the ability to go into Google and search for certain things that are connected to our favor that will activate and unlock our destinies because the, what you do not know, it will destroy you. My people perish due to a lack of knowledge. So even, even now, if I, if I use my prophetic eye, number seven, I am able to see that God is showing us a, 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 a story about a, a makeup company because he is saying something is about to take place in the cosmetics industry. And we must be very careful how we're going to be trading because there's, there's a lot of money to be made in this industry. There's a lot of money to be made in this industry. And I don't know how you're going to connect yourself, but you must use the Rachel anointing and you must use the, the creativity anointing I taught you last time. Okay. And it's very important for you to understand that. It says the guiding principles of the company, which eventually became L'Oreal, were research and innovation in the field of beauty. I don't know who that lady is. I'm giving you that prophecy. But God says, focus on that. Research and innovation, because that is actually where your passion lies. But focus on it in the aspects of beauty, okay? In 1920, the company employed three chemists. By 1950, the team was 100 strong. By 1984, was 1,000 and is nearly 82,000 today. Imagine a company grew from 1,000. It grew from 1,000. If you check the original anointing that was operating upon the sheep of Jacob, he was able to multiply sheep at a rate that was faster than the sheep that were being bred for Laban. Ay, it's in your Bible. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Because uh, everything we do, we back it up with the scripture. Listen to this. Uh, Genesis chapter 30, verse 25 to 43. Please or write it down there for me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my beautiful people, please help me writing down the scriptures, okay? Genesis chapter 30, verse 25 to 43, okay? And it says, it says, Jacob had served Laban 14 years. Now he wished to depart and return to his father in Canaan. Laban, however, was eager to have Jacob remain. Imagine so much wisdom that people don't want to let you go. They want to keep you because you've got so much value. You're a trader. You make so much money for your family that your family does not want you to leave. But listen to this. Laban, however, was eager to have Jacob remain for God had blessed everything Jacob did while in Laban's household. Listen to that. While Jacob was living with his father-in-law, it says, for God had blessed everything Jacob did while in the house of Laban. What was making Jacob to be blessed? Yet when Jacob arrived, before he arrived to the house of Laban, he was broke. It was the Rachel anointing because there was favor upon the life of Rachel. That woman was favored. And Jacob was wise, wise enough to see a wife in her before they even became wives, husband and wife. He even waited for uh, for seven years, for seven years, because he knew he didn't even have to be married to her for him to enjoy the blessing. He could already start enjoying the blessing while he's waiting to get married to her. Hey, it needs a, a serious, serious revelation here. This is good for you guys. Ah, RDS syndrome. You must not have a research deficiency syndrome. You must have an innovation and research. And remember, Jacob before he married. Uh, Rachel, he did his research about who she was, about what made her tick. Oh, he was able to dig deep into the character of that woman in order to now understand, mm, here I've got a woman of substance. This woman is going to be powerful for me because I'm a man who understands I can work hard, but I need a woman of substance behind me. I don't just need any kind of woman. I need a woman who can, who can value me. I need a, a woman who can pray for me. I need a woman who can teach me the word, who can teach my children the word, who can pray for me in my business, who can fast when I say let's fast, who can say, hmm, let's go to Paris and uh, fly there. Let's go shop but not just shopping, let's do research 
about the trends of what will happen in the, in the fashion industry in the next few months. Let's go see in China, what are they manufacturing, the, the, the equipment they are using to manufacture the makeup. Let's go do research. Let's go to Miami and go study the, 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 the fashion week in New York. Let's go study what is, you know, you need people who can complement you in your life. Many of you, you are in need of serious partners, Forex partners who are students of mine who can say, no, 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 no. Mr. Louis has taught us how to make money. I am making money every day, but this one is not making money. Let me, let me connect myself to the one who is making money in Louis' team. Then now you're connecting yourself to the ritual anointing, the favor, because ritual anointing it does not just operate in a woman. It also operates in a man or a woman. You see, the same anointing operates in my father, Major One. Whatever business he's prospering in, I'm also prospering in it. Why? Because I'm connected to him and he is favored because he understands the ritual anointing. Now it says, it says, are you, are you, are you still with me? You're still with me, right? It says, name me your wages. Okay, so listen, listen, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. For God had blessed everything Jacob did while in Laban's household, and Laban had grown rich. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The fact that Jacob was in that house, he had made his father-in-law to become rich. Not just Jacob becoming rich, but his father-in-law became rich simply because he connected himself to Rachel. Name me your wages and I will give it, Laban said, hoping to entice Jacob to stay. You shall not give me anything. Jacob replied, this is essential to understand. Listen to that. For an, an, an inattentive reading of the story can make it seem as if Jacob separated the color and spotted sheep from Laban's flock and took them for his payment. He, he, he most emphatically did not. Jacob took out the colored and spotted sheep and gave them to Laban, whose sons took them away a distance of three days journey. This left Jacob with only the pure white sheep. So it says, the last clause of verse 32 says, and these shall be my wages, is a little confusing. The Hebrew literally says, it shall be in the future, in the future. So he was, he was prophesying. That's why it says it can be a little bit confusing. You see, whenever people give prophecy of what is going to happen in the Forex market, if people, there's a confusion. There's a confusion everywhere. I, 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 these people, what are they saying? Are they, and then when it begins to happen, it begins to like, like shock people. Like these people really are with God. They, God is with these people because they said, and he said, it shall be, and it shall be. That's what Jacob was saying. So he said, and it shall be my wages. So he was prophesying how much he was going to make. Before he even started making the money, he was calling himself a millionaire. He was calling himself a billionaire. He said, and I shall make with this sheep business, with this trading business of trading sheep, of trading forex, and it shall be that I will be a billionaire by this time. I shall be a millionaire by this time. And you, my father, my, 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 my mother's brother, you, Laban, you shall also be a millionaire. Because I'll be a billionaire, you shall be a millionaire. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Jacob was wise. Jacob knew that prophecy was in his DNA. He knew that his forefathers, Abraham, was able to prophesy. He was able to have dreams and visions. Even Jacob, he had dreams and visions. He was able to sleep on a rock and see angels ascending and descending. And then God blessed him because of that. Mm. Let's finish the reading here. It says, um, it says, Jacob was not saying that the spotted and colored sheep he removed from the flock was his wages. Instead, you shall not give me anything, were Jacob's words. The spotted and colored sheep were given to the sons of Laban, who, who drove them three days' journey away. Instead, Jacob was saying that the, in the future, any, listen to this, he was saying, in the future, any spotted sheep or colored sheep born in the flock that Jacob would tend would be his own. Yet the only sheep that he had were white, were pure white. How was Jacob able to produce a Jacob sheep which had four horns and black and white, yet the sheep that he had were white? Karavazuke de Galicia, Pembra Ascodi Kenia, Ronde Lehandra Kasia. It is only through the ritual anointing. It is only through the ritual anointing 
that Louis can give you a forex signal that can make you dollars in any currency. Why? I can take the currency that you have and I can duplicate it and multiply it through the word, through the word of a future statement. Ay, 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 ay. It is because when you read the word of God, you can download this anointing that was working upon Jacob's life. Because Jacob also downloaded it from his father, Isaac. He downloaded it when he said, bless me, my father. Bless me with the blessing of Esau. And he hijacked the blessing from Esau when his father was too old to see who he was blessing. That is why when, 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 when he got married, when he got married, God also allowed Laban to switch his wives because that was a punishment. That was a, that was a repercussion of him stealing the blessing from his brother. Yes. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So, but now look how Jacob was able to, to, to reverse the curse. He was able to reverse the curse. He was able to what? Reverse the curse. So you might have been going now. Your, your life is might be going down. You might be going in a financial trauma. You might be going to a financial distress. You're wondering how am I going to make it past this first week of September. Let me tell you something. My God, the God of major one, he's going to do a miracle in your life. Finances are going to locate your bank account today. Finances are going to locate your account within these seven days. Within these seven days of productivity, God is going to allow you to touch something that's going to make you to get money. Somewhere, somehow, you must get paid. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I'm saying somewhere you might have made a mistake, but God now is going to make it work in your favor because of the people that you are connected to, because of the covenants that people who are connected to you, they've made with God. I, listen to this. Listen to, I like this story. I love this story. It says, um, instead, Jacob was saying that in the future, any spotted or colored sheep born in the flock that Jacob would tend would be his wages. So he was smart. He said, no, don't, don't pay me now. Let me make my own money. Let me no longer work for you for 14 years. He had worked for his father-in-law for 14 years. So must he work forever? No. He said, no, 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 let me not get paid. Rather, let me not get paid. Rather, let me, with, within the next seven days, let me run my own business. Let me start my own business. Let me be a young person who is an entrepreneur. Let me post more content online. Let me come up with new products that I can sell. Let me develop my own prophetic signals and sell them to other people. Let me teach people how to trade Forex. If I know how to trade Forex, maybe I don't have money to trade Forex. Let me start another business that will finance my Forex business who says i connect to this i connect to this because sometimes you cannot you cannot afford to be a slave to somebody forever ah it's too much it's too much it's too much it's too much you end up you've got nothing to show you've got nothing to show you don't have a car you don't have a house you don't have an asset you don't have land you don't have clothes you don't have you don't have anything that can generate income, but God will do something. God will remember you. I speak a word. I declare that from this day on, you shall prosper and whatever you touch shall multiply the same way the sheep of Jacob multiplied. I will connect you to the covenant God made with Jacob through the marriage covenant that he had with Rachel. Mm, powerful. So it says, it says, but these seemed impossible. Listen to it. But these seemed impossible to Jacob's father-in-law. There will always be some people who will doubt that business that you are doing. Whether it's Forex, whether it's an entrepreneurship, whether it's network marketing, whether it's a job that you are working at, someone will doubt what you want to do. But let me tell you something. Someone's doubt does not qualify your blessing. Let me show you why. It says, Jacob was left with only three white sheep. Some of you, you are only left with 300 rent. You are only left with $3. You are left with $30. You are left with $5. You are left with uh, one pound. Some of you are left with your last cent. Let me tell you something. With that last cent, God will multiply it. God will change your story. God is going to reveal to you things you've never seen before. God will multiply. Look look how God will multiply. Look at it. It says, it says oh. Jacob was left with only the white sheep. How could white sheep bear spotted and colored sheep? That is why Laban so hastily agreed to the deal. 
Some of these deals, some people, they think that they are cheating you by cutting you out of the project, cutting you out of the tender, cutting you out of the contract. But let me tell you something. This thing of cutting you out of things is going to work in your favor in the end. Don't worry when people cheat you in business. You bought in shares in a company and then all of a sudden people, they don't pay you your dividends. You bought and invested in a business. People didn't pay you. You bought and invested in whatever you invested in, in a relationship. They didn't give you your share. Let me tell you something. Give them everything. But God, he sees your heart. God, he sees your heart. Don't go after those things. Go after the love of God. Give it to them. If that is the way they operate, let it be like that. You, you stick to being you. Don't change and be like them. No, no, no. If others are making profits on the market, you're not making profits. Be happy for them. Don't, don't develop a jealousy. Don't develop a hatred. Don't develop, develop a, a mind of, of, of deception to deceive yourself and say, no, they are lying. They, they're the only ones who are making money. And they're sh No, let it be. God at his appointed time, which is this month, the month of September, the month of productivity, God will release an unction of a ritual anointing. Divine connections will begin to follow you. People will begin to give you calls. You will begin to walk into boardrooms, walk into offices, walk into restaurants that you've never, ever, ever, ever planned to walk into because of the people who will be calling you and saying, we want what you have. That one sheep that you have, that $2 that you have, that, that one cell phone that you have, we want to call you on it. We want to WhatsApp you on it. We want to transfer you a file, a price list, a contract. We want to send you an ability for you to make money. In this season, we want you to be connected to favor because your God has remembered but you. Mm, I like this. I like this type of message. This message brings hope to people, okay? So it says, it says, it says, listen to this. It says, that is why Laban so hastily agreed to the deal. Oh, that is, that it were according to your word. So now the beginning of the verse 33 is most important. Listen, it says, so my righteousness will answer for me. Listen to this guy. He said his righteousness will multiply the sheep. Yee! Yee! Can you imagine? He was able to understand that if he used his righteousness, because Jacob he knew that he was favored in the eyes of the Lord because he was connected to Rachel. He knew because Rachel was a good woman and she believed in God. She always spoke to other people, with other shepherds about God. Rachel always spoke well of the God of Jacob. I don't know about you, but some of you, God will bless you because of the people you're connected to. You speak well of their God. You speak of well of their God because you've seen that their God is not wicked, that their God is blessed. So Rachel's anointing was favored because she understood that there was also a blessing upon her husband's life. She knew because when, when Jacob landed in Haran, the first person he met were the shepherds and he met Rachel. And he told Rachel that my mother is Rebecca. And my mother and your father are brother and sister. And Rachel said, ah, 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 let me go tell my father about what God has done to you, that he has blessed you to travel from Canaan all the way here to tell us about what is happening in Canaan. Ah, she said, listen, I want to tell my father. My father must keep you in our house. My father must take care of you. My father must bless you. And that is what he did. He blessed him, he fed him, he clothed him. Jacob was broke, but now he, was, he became a millionaire in Rachel's father's house. <laughs> mm. So it says, it says, so listen to Jacob. Jacob said, so my righteousness will answer for me, not my money, not my intelligence, not my uh, anything. My righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is when you are in right standing with God, in the will of God, in the plans of God, in the purpose of God. When whatever people are doing that is connected to God, you are also part and parcel with it. Meaning you must also, look, look, let me teach you. Another thing that people don't know, what is righteousness? Because righteousness is not just you being holy. Righteousness is not just you being in right standing with God. No, no, no. Righteousness is not just you being morally behaving, you know, you don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't, you don't do it. Righteousness is not that. Righteousness is, 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 can be, can be connect, can be activated 
It's a gift. Righteousness is a gift. Righteousness does not belong to you. Righteousness belongs to Jesus. And Jesus gives righteousness to those who fear him. Can somebody say, I fear the Lord? Somebody type me, I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. When you make that confession that you fear the Lord, but there's a higher dimension of righteousness called righteousness through giving. Okay? So when you give, like you see how Jacob here decided to give all the sheep that he had made to, to his father-in-law, and he only kept three. He took everything and he honored his father in that house. Because his father, who was his original father, was in Canaan. But under the roof of his father, he had to honor that anointing. So some of you, how God will make you millionaires is as you will be trading during the month of September, go and give to your spiritual father. Go and give a gift. Go give a gift. It might be money. It might be uh, something. You know, you buy a shoe or something. Do something. And honor your spiritual father or your, your biological father. But honor the man whose roof you are under. It might be a spiritual roof or a physical roof. But the moment you bless your father, God blesses you because God, he understands what is righteousness. When you bless your father, it means you are righteous. Some of you, you don't understand why I'm so blessed. It's because I bless and honor and give under the anointing of my father. So whenever I do that, God, he is moved. And when God is moved, God can work through me to touch you. Okay. So let us get more deeper understanding of this because we're going to go into the market now and I'm going to show you how to use the Rachel anointing to trade Forex. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to do it because it's important for you guys to understand this. Okay. It's coming there. Listen. So my righteousness, he didn't have money. He knew he had righteousness. He had already given to his spiritual father everything he had out of the goodness of his heart. No, not to say God owes me. No, no, no. Out of the goodness of his heart, he gave to Laban. Okay? He gave to Laban all the sheep that he had made. And he only kept three. Listen to that. And it says, so my righteousness will answer for me in the time to come. Look at this. He's giving himself a prophecy that God will answer him and multiply his business, his business of forex trading in sheep through only one thing, righteousness, a priceless gift that God gives when you honor his servants. So it says, remember, Laban was the brother to his mother. So there was a connection. There was a certain honor that was there. When the subject of my wages come before me, this telling declaration marks a profound advancement. Listen, this telling declaration marks a profound advancement in Jacob's character development. The whole message I was telling you about today is about character development. Can somebody say, I am developing my character. In the month of September, I'm developing my character. I'm developing my character. I'm developing my character. When Jacob arrived in Paddan Aram, he was a grasping manipulator. You see that? He was a grasping manipulator who relied upon his own innate abilities and craft to obtain what he wanted. But 14 years of service for Laban. So being a spiritual son of Laban allowed Jacob's character to go through the perfection stage, the strengthening stage, the confirmation stage, the establishment stage. So Jacob was now established. He was established. But let me tell you another thing. Jacob was not the only one whose character was being developed. During these 14 years, Rachel's character was being developed. Not only, not only was it Jacob's character that was being developed, but they were both under the same father. Hey, 
Zebri eskaduje. Ratu keti katu. Hmm. Degedem, degede. Hmm. I'm downloading so many things. Now, it says, uh, um, when Jacob arrived, okay, and then it says, uh, but 14 years of service for Laban, during which Laban consistently outwitted him. Look at that. So Laban was always outsmarting Jacob because Laban had experience. He was older. He was a father. He had businesses. He was, he was successful. But after these 14 years, look at this. And during which God blessed him in all that he did, had produced a change in Jacob. He had now progressed to the point where he relied upon his righteous conduct to secure blessings and prosperity from God. That is a dramatic change of heart, a major development in right character. Verse 37 begins, the equally odd business of the poplar, almond, and chestnut branches. Many commentators suggest some kind of magic practice or that the peeled rods were intended to cause the sheep to Im imitate the partially colored rods by bringing forth partially colored sheep. Yet this is certainly not what Jacob was engaged in here. Verse 38, and the rods which he had peeled had set before the flocks in the gutters, in the water ring troughs, where the flocks came to drink so that they should conceive when they came to drink. The word conceive is translated in Hebrew to, to mean yaka, literally meaning to be hot. Aye. And which, when speaking of animals, can mean to be in heat. I wanted to say that. By peeling the fresh cut uh, rods, Jacob caused the sap-filled meat of the rods to be exposed, thus possibly allowing the sap of the rods to mingle with the water in the watering troughs. Perhaps he believed this additives in the water would help to bring the animals to heat. It has also been suggested. Can you hear that this guy was a chemist? He was a chemist. Kando be he was, he, was a, he was a chemist. He was mixing plants with the water that the sheep were drinking from in order for the sheep to get into a state of making babies. But not just making babies of, this, of the color that was the one that he was not allowed to get, but a new color, which would be a more expensive sheep. So this anointing is the anointing you must use when you're trading Forex to know exactly which currency will produce when you mix it with your money, that currency, it will produce more profits. You must be a forex chemist like Jacob. Listen to this. Listen to this. Jacob caused sap-filled meat of the rods to be exposed. Okay, we read that. And then it says... It, it has also been suggested that the peeled rods were used as a sort of coralling fence set up when the flocks came to drink to keep them together longer for mating. Also inform us that Jacob practiced selective breeding, selective trading. That's why many of you, when I'm trading and I don't trade, and some of these days you say, I'm not trading, we're not trading. No, no you, you must trade selectively, like Jacob. Jacob didn't just make the sheep to make, to make and make and make anyhow. No, he was selectively choosing which sheep were the ripe sheep, which sheep were the established sheep, which sheep were the strong sheep, and he was mixing them. By the time they came up and gave children, they were giving birth to mature, strong, healthy, hey, expensive sheep. Okay, 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 okay. So it says, set up flocks, uh, set up when the flocks came to drink to keep them together longer for mating. Okay, also inform us that Jacob practiced selective breeding, ensuring that the best of the flock would be subject to his treatment of the water. So you don't just trade any signal. You trade the you select which signal that I give to trade. Don't trade all the signals. When I give signals, trade selectively the one that your spirit, which is in righteousness with God, is telling you to trade. We are almost finished. 
But all this did not produce the spotted and colored sheep. These actions only aided Jacob in selecting which sheep would breed at what time. He was not after just making profits, but understanding the times and the seasons. Oh, as a trader. Are you telling me this man was not a trader? He was not a trader. When it says this, okay, it says, it says, Okay, 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 let me find it, let me find it. Okay. Okay, but all this did not produce the spotted and colored sheep. So some of you are thinking, no, I've got to like, you know, make money and I've got to make it this way with Forex. But sometimes God doesn't want you to make money in that season. He wants you just to learn when to trade how to trade, what to trade. Are you guys getting it? Are you guys getting it in VIP? Are you understanding that, 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 that God, he doesn't always expect you to make a profit? That's why many people, they don't understand. They want to get rich overnight. No, there's certain things that God wants you to pass through so that you can learn, so that you can know when is the time to trade? What is the day to trade? What is the time to trade? What is the time to pray? What is the time to do this? Seasons, times and seasons. As Jacob was mastering, Jacob was a very patient man. You can tell. He waited four, seven years to get married. And he got two wives out of that. The guy got a double blessing. He was double blessed. Because why? He was patient. A lot of the generation of today, we are not patient. I want it now. And I want it fast. And it must happen. The way I want, if it doesn't happen, I get mad. I get angry. I write people off. I cut people off. No, 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 no. When your character is mature, when your character is developed, when your character is strong, when your character is established, when your character is confirmed, you don't stress. You relax. We are too blessed to be stressed. As, as prophetic traders, we are too blessed to to be stressed, okay? So look at this, look at this. Uh, it's like those people now who are saying, Louis, what's happening with the $250 group? Wait, 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 wait. God is teaching you something. Doesn't mean that when you start something now, you must just get it now. No, wait. And when God can see that you're not ready to receive it, he will hold it. He will hold, he will hold the blessing. When God saw that Jacob was not ready to receive Rachel, God held the marriage. He said, no, 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 wait, wait. If I give, it, give you her now, you will misappropriate her. You will not understand her. You will misunderstand her. You guys will begin to argue. You begin to fight. You begin to misunderstand. So I will develop your character and I will keep you busy. You will work and she will work. So wherever you are as a trader, whether you're a lady or a man, or you're a businesswoman, you're a businessman, let me tell you something. Don't rush God. When God gives you a blessing, don't start going ask, asking God. Because by the time you are, you are rejecting that gift that you, God was giving you, by the time that time you are praying for another one, you are already praying for another one, yet God was about to answer. But because you're, you're shaking in your faith, you are, you are doubting, no, no, wait, relax. You're not going anywhere. You are young. You still have time. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. When someone gives you a gift, don't make demands. Uh -uh. Are you with me, guys? Write that down. When someone gives you a gift, don't make demands. The more you start demanding, 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 this person says, uh uh. This one is only after the gift. It's not after the relationship. It's only after the gift. No, 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 no. We don't operate like that. Children of God, when someone gives you a gift, when someone is a blessing to your life, do not harass that person. Do not harass them. Uh -uh. You might offend God because how do you know that God sent that person in your life for that particular season where he knew you were going to go through a tough time. But just because now you are being 
ungrateful, God will take the gift away. Then you wonder, you start blaming God. You start blaming people that people don't love you. People don't care about you. But it's you. When, when you are harassing God's gifts. You are harassing God's uh, divine destiny connectors. Destiny helpers. If someone, God sends someone, if some, God sends a good man in your life to bless you with gifts every day, every minute, take care of that man. Because next minute, another woman is praying now, fasting now, 30 days looking for a man that, is, that you are mistreating. Another woman that you are mistreating, another man is praying, fasting 30 days to get a woman like that. So you don't get abused, God's people. No. You cannot say, I'm, uh, this person is a good person, to, tomorrow they are a devil. Uh -uh. You are, what are you saying to God now? You're trying to confuse God? No. If you see someone and they are a good person to you, let them be a good person to you. And if you see someone and they are a bad person, see the good in them until they become a better person. You know, sometimes I call people, I'll phone people, I'll take, pick up my phone, and I'll be like, people I know, I'll phone them. I'll say, do you know I love you? Do you know God loves you? Do you know I care for you? That is the ritual anointing. When you remember people, you're not just asking them, give me this, 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 do this for me, do this for me, do this for me. I want this, I take this, I need this, I need this, I receive this. I... No, don't be a taker, be a giver. Just call someone and say, do you know how much you mean to me? Do you know how much of a difference my life has been since you've been in my life? Do you know how much of a value? You know, every time, Mr. Louis, I want this. Mr. Louis, I want this. Mr. Louis, I want this. No. Sometimes just say, Mr. Louis, you know, we thank you. Without you, God was going to forget us. We know our finances were in the downdrops, but now we are making money. Can, I don't want the signal to be. I just want to tell you, are you okay? You know, I've got a wonderful uh, student of mine, a son of mine, Joshua. Joshua will call me even when I don't feel like taking a call. He will call me and say, Mr. Louis, are you okay? Mr. Louis, do you know we are praying for you? By that time, you can sense in the spirit that I'm down. I need an encouragement. I need also to hear good news. He will pick up the phone. He will send a message. If he can't send a message, he will send a song. If he can't send a song, he will send a scripture. You need people like that in your life. People who will add value, not subtract. Only subtracting. No, don't just be a taker. Be a giver. Also be a giver. Jacob was a giver. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. It says, okay, these actions only aided Jacob in selecting which sheep would breed at what time. God caused the unusual correlation of the sheep. Listen to that. God, he caused the unusual correlation in the sheep. Let me personalize it. God caused the unusual profits in your Forex account. It's God who's going to do it, not a man. That's why it makes no sense to a lot of people. It makes no sense. Now, it's actually called nonsense for a reason. Laban here, his own father was saying it's, gonna, it's impossible. But Rachel, she believed in Jacob. You will see why. He became a millionaire. He became a billionaire. He became a father of a nation that is still standing today because of one woman who believed in him, who said, no, wherever someone says it's impossible for Jacob, I say it's possible for Jacob. Listen to this. As Jacob said, my righteousness will answer for me. The production of colored sheep was God's response to Jacob's righteousness. Indeed, we later find out that Laban, seeing the results, kept changing the deal about what sheep Jacob would get. And in every case, God followed suit with the correlation of which sheep Jacob produced. So God is stuck close to Jacob wherever he did. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Jacob explained to his wives, God did not allow Laban to hurt me. Did I not say, look, and I didn't even read that before. I just knew it because that's how God operates. The wives of Jacob, they were so supportive. 
They were so supportive of his mission. They were so supportive. Listen to this. It says, it says, God, it says, God followed suit with the correlation of the sheep produced. Listen, the first people that Jacob went to were his wives. Jacob explained to his wives, God did not allow Laban to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be your wages. Then all the flocks were speckled. And if he said thus, the strict shall be your wages. Then all the flocks were both strict. So God has taken away the livestock of your father and given them to me. So all the, the, the sheep belonging to the father now became the sheep of Jacob. Yet his wives still stuck with him because the wives, they knew that their father was being unfair to the husband. They were loyal. They were loyal. The wives of Jacob were loyal to Jacob because they knew the heart of Jacob. Listen, Jacob had matured tremendously while under the service to Laban. He had moved away from grasping manipulative ways and had come to the point where he understood that prosperity and protection are dependent on righteous conduct before God. And for that, God rewarded and prospered him. Jacob's character, however, was to be further developed. Can somebody say amen? Amen, 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 amen. We've got some uh, negative people here today. So we're also not in the mood to entertain them. Uh, you know, it's nice that we, we normally entertain them, but today we are, we are so positive, okay? So anybody who's coming with negative vibes, we're not going to talk to you today. Just, just, for, just for control. So listen to this. Jacob prospered with God's blessing and his own clever management of flocks. Imagine this guy had the money. He had, he had a clever management of flocks, of sheep. But as Jacob increased... Laban decreased. I don't know who's going to increase and decrease this year, but I have a feeling that those who are believing, who say, I believe, they're going to increase this year with their forex trading. The time for trading is coming. Right now, God is teaching you the same way he was teaching Jacob. Under the auspices, under the teaching of Louis Jr. Chakwani, God is raising you up. He's edifying you. Don't despise your humble beginnings. Some of us, when we were there in the tent with Major One, people were laughing at us. But look where we are today. We are living in Santo. We are living in Santo. Where, where others hate, it's okay. But today we are living in Santo. We are not living in Santo. But we have been following another man who we saw a blessing upon their life. And other people, they just saw a dust or they saw a tent. But now we are moving into our own building. Why? Because God will bless using the ritual anointing. He's blessing using the ritual anointing. So I don't want to go deeper in that story, but I hope you guys understand the ritual anointing. Who says, I understand? I understand. Type it there. I understand the ritual anointing. I now have a deeper understanding level of wisdom that has been unlocked in my mind because I see potential in my father. I see potential in my mother. I see potential in my brother, my sister, my cousin, in my forex trading, in myself. When I look in the mirror, I see a superstar. I see God's blessing. I see God's work fashioned for prosperity, fashioned for blessing. I don't want you to ever look down on yourself. I don't want you to ever think that forex is not for you. Yes, you're going to make money. Yes, you're going to lose money. But this is your year. This is your season. This is your favor. And I know that everything you're doing, it's going to manifest to become greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. Nothing you do will lose this year. Everything you do will prosper this year. Whatever you set your eyes on shall manifest and make hundredfold. Okay, so let's take a look at the market quickly. Trading view. So I gave you guys the understanding of the cosmetics company, L'Oreal. And 
you must understand that the founder of L'Oreal, which is a $50 billion a year business, it was started by a, a, a chemist, a pharmacist. And you can see that pharmacy was not just one of those things that started yesterday. Even in the Bible, uh, Jacob was a chemist. He was a trader. Because you see, this man is a chemist, but today his business is trading cosmetics worldwide. If he does not understand Forex and the exchange of currencies, his business would not be making this kind of money. So some people, they just think that like, Forex is a scam, Forex is a scam. No, Forex is not a scam. You are a scam because you're scamming yourself with a lie. You are broke right now, but you are calling everything a scam. The richest people in the world, they don't call things scams. They run businesses. A business cannot be a scam. Where there's money, there's a business. Even criminals, they run businesses. <laughs> Even crim crim some criminals, they own legitimate businesses. So what are you talking about? We are talking about Forex here. Forex, it runs the world. All the money is there right now. And all the money is going to Forex. Bitcoin, all the money is going to the Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies, all the money is going there. Fashion, all the money is going there. And it involves Forex. For me to wear this Gucci hat here, it needed this hat to leave Paris on a ship or in an airplane and fly. And they had to manufacture it in a foreign currency. And they had to import it into South Africa, pay the customs and duties tax, and then, and then put it in a store and sell it in a local currency. That's Forex. And I've seen people who don't own companies, they're the first one to call something a scam. You've never even registered a company at the Cipro. You've never opened it, registered a company, but you're, you're busy calling things scams because you don't have anything. You don't have a business. You, you, you've never even tried to register a business. You've never, you don't have a tax number. Open a tax number, open a business, start something, start something. Stop criticizing, criticize yourself so you can better yourself. Ask, the, the more you criticize, we are already established. You are criticizing something that can never go down. So you're wasting your time. Rather be constructive, rather do something that's gonna benefit your family. Do something that's gonna benefit your family. Especially in this season, you don't have time to be hating and trolling on Instagram. Come on, seriously. Your family needs you. Your family needs you. Right now, your family needs you. Like nobody's been, your family needs you. You might be financially okay, but your family might not be. All your members, I can guarantee you, are not financially okay. I need you to be serious. I need you to love yourself in this season. This is spring, it's a new beginning. Start with a new heart. Start with a clean heart, a righteous heart, and say, I will no longer be crit criticizing unnecessarily. Why? Wasting so much energy. Jesus, who are you working for? You're working for the devil or you're working for yourself? Work for yourself. Work for yourself. Work for yourself. There's so much power in working for yourself because when you work for yourself, God works for you. Be constructive. So I'm going to go and show you guys also on the VIP class here some uh, signals, okay? Did everybody see how I gave you a prophecy on the USD ZAR? And the prophecy came to pass. You know, it's, it's just a God's grace. So I'm going to uh, uh, enter the, the class, uh, zoom out here. I'm going to allow other people to share the screen so that I can also share the screen on my big computer here. And, you know, some of us are about to be really, really big, really, really, really big. And, you know, we're about to be really, really respected in this Forex thing. And it's the grace of God because we use the Rachel anointing. We use, I, I know that if I don't have a strong woman around me, I cannot prosper. So I, I surround myself strategically with certain women. You see me, I'm more fascinated about the progress of women than I am uh, with the progress of men because I know the power in the womb of a woman. So when you are associating yourself, and the, and the women, they don't even have to be successful in the world's eyes, but in God's eyes, if they are successful, God can prosper you as a man. If a woman does not want you to prosper and you are close to her, definitely you will not prosper. Trust me, you will not. You will not because the, the, her words have power. 
God has given women the power to speak words. And these words, they are important. So some of you need to be very selective. Be very selective whom you surround yourself with. Women who are having friends and friends who are having men and men who are having friends of women. Know something that the people you connect yourself with, the word of a woman, the tongue of a woman is more sharper than the tongue of a man. So surround yourself with women of substance, women who are progressive, who want to study, who want to be successful, who want to own things. Not just women who just waste time, but women who want to be in time for everything. Be in time to run the world. We want women who want to run the world, okay? So let me share my screen on the big screen here. And I want to show you guys uh, some signals, okay? So you guys can see, you know, thank God for technology because this is becoming so much more effortless for me to do. Uh, and I'm glad that I'm able to share this particular video with you guys. So we're going to go to the USD Zor and we're going to see how I was able to share, uh, I was able to share the signal for USD Zor and it came to pass. Okay. Okay. So I know here, uh, I think on the big screen here, if I haven't done this before, but hopefully you guys can see. Okay, I'll just put the screen on the bed there. Right, so there you go. So there's a screen. Okay, thank you to technology. Now, now Instagram can see the screen. <laughs> now the Instagram guys can see the screen. Wow, thank you to technology. Wow, okay, so we're gonna zoom into the chart here and you can see uh, how I was able to, you know, just wanna so know how this thing is, it's doing this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, please don't draw on your screens, please don't do that. You all wanna see what's happening on the screen, okay? So we're gonna zoom in here and you can see how I predicted over the whole course of, uh, you know, the course of the year, I was able to, you know, predict what's gonna happen in the market, okay? And you can see if you zoom in here, I had predicted this week that there was a signal I gave you guys where I gave you a take profit of 17.49, uh, right? Okay, and when I gave you that signal, it actually hit a day ago, okay? Uh, I gave you the signal, it went above, okay? So the market was sitting around uh, here, 16 something, 17 something, and then I predicted that the market was gonna go up, and the market went up, and uh, we hit the TP. So I want, I want to uh, call some people online who are gonna tell me if they, if they actually made profits with this, and can they testify? Is there anybody who can raise their hand quickly and say, I have a testimony, I have a testimony, I have a testimony? Who says, I have a testimony? Who says, I have a testimony? Anybody have a testimony? USDs are. USDs are. I'm waiting. USDs are. Is there anybody? Instagram. Is there anybody on Instagram who says I have a testimony? Type there if you have a testimony. Um, raise your hand if you're on. Uh, Who says I've got a testimony? Who says I've got a testimony? I have a testimony. Kirk? Is it Kirk? I have a testimony. Yes, who's that? Who is that gentleman? 
Kirk. Mr. Kirk Butler. Mr. Kirk Butler. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you give us your testimony? Yeah, so once I saw where you put out a signal for USDs, uh, um, I saw where it was at uh, 16.46 or something like that on the market, and you yeah. said to go in for a buy for, I believe, uh, 17.4704. Yeah. So first thing I was thinking, I know how you mentioned trading over the long term of the day, so I need to have a small lot size so I can stay within the trade and continue to make profit as it goes up. So I took the conservative approach. I opened up two uh, slots. Mm -hmm. I think for I think it was uh, zero point zero nine and zero point zero one. Mm -hmm. And throughout like I think about two four hours, I began to get make profit and so forth. Uh, so I went in my second account because I traded two at the same time. I opened another trade. Uh, I think I did a lot for, I can't remember, but I think it was like 0 0.2. And then that's when I started seeing more money come in. Um, and then I pulled out. I got a little nervous because I saw where it started to dip back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought about doing a buy stop where it would hit the, when it approached 17.04. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go along with that. I just try to take a conservative approach. So that's just my testimony. So God bless you and the signals that God sent. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Is there anybody else who says, uh, I have a testimony? Uh, we, we can see here in the blue line, uh, pink lines here, that, that, was a, that was a take profit set and it went all the way up beyond 17.47. And, and I'd given you guys a signal roundabout there uh, when it was uh, bouncing around here, 16.6, and it went all the way up, and people were sending me, hey, Mr. Louis, your signal, it was accurate, it was this, I said, guys, this is a message, and this is, I'm grateful that you guys believed enough to go in and risk your account to trade there and make money, okay? Uh, I know Mr. Marvin, also Mr., Mr., who else is that gentleman from Canada? Uh, Sean. Uh, Mr. Sean and Mr. Mervyn, I don't know if they're here. I don't think they're here today. Maybe they're sleeping right now in Canada. Who else says I've got a I've got a testimony? I know uh, Mr. 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 Sean made about five hundred dollars or five hundred Canadian dollars. I think I posted the the, the the results, but you can see USD are here. Some people made some money here. Uh, you can see here uh, other people made one hundred forty-seven dollars there. Um, and then you'll see here, look at this USD ZAR, look at that massive profits, massive profits, 425, 425, 425, 425. That's about 1000 2000 $3,000 right there. $3,000 were made with that one USD ZAR signal. And that's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, that's very much amazing. Okay. And then, uh, we've got, uh, uh, look at this. Uh, uh, we've got uh, who else was there? Uh, but yeah, five hundred dollars were made right there. Five hundred and seventeen Canadian dollars by Mr. Mervin. Uh, he's managed to grow his account to close to three thousand, four thousand uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, ever since using my signals, he was losing. He was losing. He was losing so much money. Okay, and now he's he's he's, he's approaching five thousand Canadian dollars. Uh, and he, he entered here also the EUR signal. He made money there. Uh, so this is just a blessing from God. If you guys want to join the VIP uh, Prophetic Signals group, just send an email to Delta Forex Co. Uh, and uh, it's $70 to join the group Lifetime Signals. You get mentorship. You get my book. You get signals forever. So just make money with Forex. And, you know, you get to join these classes as well you know, get to be interactive. And I told you, I told you, the pricing is not gonna be the same for ever, okay? Right now, I'm working on something and thousands of like people are about to join the classes and 
you know, it's about to be way more students. So we're going to end up having to increase the price just to make sure that we keep the quality of the show, quality of the, 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 the school up to standard. Okay. So please guys, um, you know, enjoy uh, the signals while they, while they still can. So who else says I have, I have a testimony uh, for what's coming next? Um, so I see something here. I'll draw a line here that goes here, okay? And then I'll draw that, and then I'll draw that, right? Which means the next jump is gonna take place between there and there, okay? So it, it, the distance, you can see here, there's been a, a pattern of these mm -hmm. humps here. So this pattern is, is probably gonna happen again, or it might go all the way up like it did here to get to this particular level here. But we'll set the, the TP again, to this particular point, which is what? 17.5, am I right or wrong? 17.5. Right. So we, we, we at the bottom here, so we definitely know this is, what do, we, what do we call this point? It's support level, right? Yes. Market goes down here. So we'll create another signal quickly for USDZAR, which will be a USDZAR buy, okay? Okay, I'll just move that, duplicate that. We'll just make a text there. <clears throat> Okay, so we'll say USDs are uh, USDs are buy, and um, we'll just say take profit is seventeen uh, seventeen point five. Right, 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 right. Uh, You see, does anybody understand what I just did? The market is gonna go up. Let me just uh, minimize this so that you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, I had drawn this as a, as a future prediction of what will happen by the end of the year, uh, but I'll, I'll duplicate it for this particular, uh, you know, um, example illustration now, okay. So we're looking for a trend that's about to be like that, okay? And we're gonna squash that and increase that so you guys can see clearly. Um, there you go. Can you guys see that? So when you got that, okay, you can understand that uh, the market is definitely gonna follow a trend to go up, okay? And we, it might not go all the way up there now, but we can safely put it here up until this resistance level here because we know that there, there's a key point there there's a key point there and history has a funny way of repeating itself definitely now with the economy not doing well month end and everything we're going to see this the same similar uh, trajectory here okay and it's going to take we're using this angelic stick here measuring stick we want to calculate the duration of time it'll take uh, for it to reach there so that is obviously a indicator of when we can open and close the trade so we're going to open the trade today and hold it for how long uh for about uh let's see how long is this angelic stick is from the 2nd of september to the 14th of october so we can already tell that we can do the signal and it can take pretty much that much time to get there okay so that is a that is a time frame of about uh, you can say three, 10, 33 days, okay? So it's pretty long, okay? That's a pretty long-term thing, but obviously we know that uh, it can happen even sooner, okay? It can happen even sooner. So we are safely making that the signal for uh, this uh, particular currency pair, and we are saying it's USD czar by take profit, Okay, and we can be 100% confident of this because why this is a very strong resistance point and we know that economy is not going to get stronger right now. The South African economy is not going to get stronger right now. It's actually going to get worse because it's month end, people are struggling to pay their bills, retrenchment, dogs, jobs are getting lost and all that jazz. So we definitely know that 
uh, we have confidence, okay? And why I'm calling that the Rachel anointing is because it's a, favor, it's a favorable position. So whenever we say Rachel, Rachel is code word or code name for favor. Are we together? So right there uh, under the comments, right there, Rachel equals favor, okay? Rachel is the code word for favor. It's a favorable position, okay? So let me copy this. Uh, you know, and just put that there and just type that. Oh, just go zoom out there. Let's just call this that type there. We call this Rachel uh, anointing equals favorable position. Place a trade. Okay, can you guys read? Can you guys read that? You guys can read that, right? So that's the whole point of us doing a a, a, a a Rachel anointing trade, which is to say that, I mean, look at this. We've got total confidence that the market is gonna shoot up. And we have total confidence that the market is gonna shoot up for this particular length of time, minimum of that amount of time, because we're using the angelic measuring stick, right? Which is taking the previous two trends and the distance between these two trends is pretty much accurately the same. You can see that there, and you see that there. So it's probably gonna happen again, so it's, a, it's a confirmation. So this is part of prophetic trading, okay? Remember, we, we can also call this a Jacob's ladder, okay? Uh, where angels ascend and descend, because why it's 90 degree to the perpendicular. So 90 degree to the perpendicular means that uh, there's a 45 degree angle at this particular uh, intersection here, right? Which allows us to safely say the market will go up. It will shoot up. Angels are ascending and descending, not descending and ascending, ascending and descending, meaning that angels are going up and down to and fro heaven and earth. So you have a solid ladder. A ladder is not sideways. A ladder is not like a, a, a sphere or whatever. A ladder is straight. A ladder is like, it's straight. You put a ladder on something. Okay, so a ladder can be adjusted also on a, on, a, on a particular straight path. And then it can form a triangle based on the distance between the length, the breadth, and the width of the triangle. So that's why we call it a Jacob's ladder. Okay, because a ladder doesn't just stand. It has to, it has to sit on something, lean on something. And we leaning on what? This particular uh, wall, which is, which is a clear indicator that this particular trend is ended. Okay, and if this particular trend has ended, a new trend has to begin, which we call a ladder. Okay, so this is particularly called a, a ladder's wall. Okay, and 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 then from there you need to you need to then you know have a Jacob's ladder uh, fall also onto another wall here. So you can you can stick your ladder here and it can form another 90 degrees. Triangles are always you know interchangeable. So that's why you have confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. That's why you're having a Rachel anointing. It's a favorable position. It's like, it's a, it's guaranteed signal. It's a guaranteed signal. Okay. So I'm glad you guys watched this particular, uh, uh, angelic, uh, you know, measuring stick signal. Let me save this and, and post it in the VIP group. If you want to be into the VIP group and you want to enjoy these signals on a daily basis, please, please, uh, be, uh, in, 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 in the email, deltaforexco at gmail.com. And we will send you all the information you need uh, just to join our prophetic signal. So I'm sending in the VIP here access to this particular link. Only you guys have access to that, not the people who are watching. Uh, and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed that particular message. You know, Did everybody understand what I said? Does anybody have a question? Uh, does anybody have a question um, regarding that particular uh, thing? I like uh, how Click CK has posted the signal. Anybody want a question? Uh, should we enter the signal now? Now, it's fine. Uh, what time is it now? Yes, midnight. It's actually a prophetic gate time opening. So 12 o'clock right now, you can enter the signal and start trading.
uh, let it run. I would suggest you open uh, small positions though, maybe two, two or three with the lot size of 0 0.02 to test. And then once you see it really start coming up, then you can open up 0 0.04, 0 0.05 or 0 0.07 like uh, the guys are doing there in Canada, okay? So I hope you guys are having a good vibe. You're having a good time. <laughs> Things are about to get easier. I, I have a question, please. Yes, sir. Uh, I just joined the VIP group lately, and mm. when you give the sig when you give the confirmation of the signal yesterday, I took it for a signal and I entered. Mm -hmm. Though I made a couple of uh, dollars, uh, mm. but I entered at a very high position. Mm -hmm. So uh, with a lot side of zero point zero three, and right now and I'm on a minus fifty seven dollars. What did you enter? So I close. I mean, when I entered later yesterday. USD ZAR. Yeah, USD ZAR. Yeah, I thought hold, it was. Hold it, hold it, because it's not going to go down beyond that point. Okay, I entered at 16.97. 16.97, which is Central African DAC. Yeah, you probably entered right when it just end, ended a, an uptrend right there. So it's going to come back up. That's what I'm saying. You've got a good um, lot size there. So hold it, because it's about to. 0.03. Be 0 yeah. 0 0.03 that side. Yeah, it's going to make you a lot of money because on that uptrend, it's going to make you a lot of money. So thank you so much. Thank you. So hold on to that. Thank you. <laughs> great, great, great. And then we have Mr. Who else? Who else has a question? I know Mr. Angel wants uh, signals. I tried, I think I gave you signals the last time. I don't know what you did with those links. Uh, but anyway, I'll send them to you again. Anybody else got a question? A anybody? Anybody got a question? Hi, sir. Yes. Um, I want to know when did you give a USD last night? Was it the day before yesterday, or was it a long time ago? No. If you check the timestamps, I gave the signal. Uh, 31st of August at 10 a.m. 10 to 10. On Monday. 31st, yes. But uh, uh, it, it like never hit. You said it hit TP yesterday. Huh? You said it hit TP yesterday, right? Yeah. But on mine, it didn't. I don't know if brother, others... My brother, the signal, right? Let me open, yeah. open my... Uh... At 16.6, 16.7. So actually, it, it didn't hit TP. It hit TP in a sense of people when they when they when they were trading, they had set TPs when I hit when I gave the signal, right? That's what I mean when I say it hit TP. People traded the signal and then they had entered uh, the, the signal when I gave the signal and they made money. They made a lot of money. You saw the testimonies. So the, the statement is just not to say that they hit the final TP, which is what, 17.49. And the, the, the statement is to say that the signal hit their TP, which means when I gave the signal, it was around about here, you see, uh, 10 a.m. here, right? Yeah. Which means yeah. it was at like 16.60. Yeah. Which is 16.90 something, okay? So um, point of the matter is that was like almost 300 pips. Yeah. So, or 3,000 pips. So, the point of the matter is it, it, it didn't go all the way to 17.5. Fact of the matter is, even before it did go to 17.5, we have done this signal before. But the fact of the matter is, 
Now, yesterday, we made a lot of money from that. And a lot of people now are disappointed because the market did drop. You can see that there, if you zoom into this, the market went up and down. So what time did you enter the trade? Immediately you gave the signal. Immediately. So, so what are you saying, sir? Because that if you entered the signal immediately, look at this. It was green. Yeah, it went it went up. I saw it. I was sitting on great profit, right? And I was just waiting for it to go to hit TP. So if, Look, if I give you a signal, it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to hit TP. You understand? It doesn't mean it, it, it doesn't mean it's gonna hit TP on that day. Yeah. That's why you are seeing here. Even if I say here that the market is gonna be is gonna be from the 18th, from this from the second of September to the 13th, it doesn't mean it's gonna be exactly that. That's impossible for me to uh, tell you exactly when them. Then then we will be making money every day. Uh, uh, we'll be making millions every day, and there will be no loss. And that is not forex. That is not forex. Forex is you must trade. If, if that's why I say when you trade. There are others who make profits and you don't make a profit or you make profits and others don't make profits because we are trading. Even if we enter at the same time, you decide to exit at a different time as someone else. That doesn't mean that the signal is not going to hit TP. Do you understand what I mean? It just means that you decided to hold the trade when you were in profits. You didn't close the trades. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I mean? So I always teach you guys when you in profits, close the trades. It doesn't mean that you must wait for it to TP. If you want to take the risk of waiting for it to hit TP, the, the trade is still going to run. It went up, it went down, it went up. And you can see that the gentleman asked me now, should I still keep holding it? I said, yes, because why? We are in a Rachel anointing position, a favorable position, because we've just hit a crux here of a support level, which we know that in the past, it shot up beyond that particular level. When it hit that level, it has never hit this point in time before. It, the last time it happened, it shot up. Meaning what's about to happen? It's about to shoot up again. Okay, I get you. Um, what, what confused me was when you said it hit TP. No, what I meant when I said it hit TP is when, when people trade and they have their TP. That's why they, I can show you messages where people said it hit TP. That's what it means. Yeah. To, to me, they said they have, they said their TPs at whatever. It doesn't mean that if I give you TP of 17.5, you must also make your still TP 17.5. My signals are just an, an indicator of what I'm trading. You understand? It's not to force you to trade the, exactly the same thing. No. You need to use your own wisdom. Otherwise, for me to, to, to speak for how many hours have I been talking now? For me to speak for these many of hours, then it's a waste of time because it means that you don't need me to teach you guys anything. I'm gonna just give you a signal. You must just press a button and it must just take place. No, that's not how it works. Trading, at the end of the day, it, it depends. You must trade. I'm not trading for you. You're trading for yourself. So you must acquire skills and experience that are gonna take my signals and my teachings and you're gonna apply them in your own way. Laban himself, he was a, a shepherd, but he was not making the kind of money that Jacob made. But for a long time, Jacob was making more money. Meaning, I always teach you guys, my desire is for you guys to be better than me. Not me to, for you to be better than you forever. No, I'm your teacher, but the student must out, out, outclass the teacher. That proves that the teacher is a good teacher. So Thank you, you so much. You can see that uh, Laban there, he wasn't uh, being uh, given the sheep so that he, 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 Laban must make the sheep for Jacob. No, it says... Jacob worked for Laban for 14 years to develop his character. Then when his character was developed, he was now able to trade sheep himself and make sheep for himself. And he became richer than Laban. So please don't forget my teachings, guys. Don't forget my... Always apply the word of God that we're teaching with what I'm giving you guys. Because now when you begin to say... No, but it didn't hit TP. Then what does that mean? It's clear when you look at the market, it didn't hit TP. But when these people are saying, no, me, it hit TP for me, that it, make, it makes sense to say, listen, I wanted to go in at 16.9 and, and you yourself, you're confirming that you did make a profit. You didn't close it. You can see, look at the, the, the distance from here to here. How much profit is that? It's a lot of profit. It's a lot of profit from here to here. That's from 16.6. That's exactly the profit that they made, the guys made. They closed before it came down. 
So I cannot be held liable for your account for when you didn't close the profits. There's no way, guys. That's impossible. I have no control of your accounts. I have no control. You're the one who registered the account. You funded the account. I gave you a signal. Did you use the signal for what it was given to you for or did you allow it to run and there's no train smash if it ran if you're still holding the position i'm reaffirming you that listen by tomorrow there will be another uh, up uprise again where there will be an, why because it's a jacob's letter angels ascending descending ascending descending ascending do you understand yes sir. does any anybody <laughs> not understand what i need to say yeah hello i i I do understand this one. One thing I've learned from what you were signifying when I enter the trade, I first take my I take profit from the next resistance using 15 minutes and one hour time trade. The next resistance or the next support is where I take my take profit. And again, and again, so the next let minutes me or the next. Yeah. Let me help you something. The account that I trade and the account you trade, the account size is not the same. So if I give you a signal and my account can handle a take profit of 17.5, it doesn't mean your account can handle a take profit of 17.5. Because if I'm trading a $1 million account or $500,000 account or $50,000 account or $20,000 account, the majority of you guys are not trading that size of an account. You're not. It's a fact. But it doesn't mean that you cannot use my signal as a benchmark. Do you understand? Because we are all trading different size accounts here. One is trading $5,000, one is trading $10,000, one is trading $1,000, $50, $30, $100. So there's no way I can, I can please everybody. It's impossible. That one it cannot happen. Because we are all different. We are all entering the market at a different time, using a different phone, different internet, different brokers. You understand? <laughs> Does that make sense? That's right, mentor. Yes, don't forget right. that, guys. We are we are all different here, and we are all coming. So my signals are not are not magic potions. They are prophecies. So a prophecy, you must work it. You must make it come to pass using whatever you have. Here, you know, Jacob had three sheep. He man he managed to make three sheep to become a management of flock of sheep. He only had three sheep. Three sheep. And guess what? Laban did not teach him how to mix. It was the anointing that taught him how to sheep, how to, how to mix and breed more sheep. It was God through his righteousness. His righteousness. So if you're not in righteousness, you're going to have a problem. So you must, you must be sensitive, guys. You must be very sensitive. Make sure that you are, you are living in righteousness when you are trading. Then your results will show that, no, 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 God is for you no matter what. It says even when Laban was, was changing the rules, even when Louis was changing the signals, he, Jacob was still able to be blessed by God because of his righteousness. Are we in the same uh, sphere? Exactly. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, my question is, uh, when you're looking at the um, USD index, right? Mm -hmm. We saw that uh, the dollar just broke out uh, by its lowest. By the USD, which USD index? Uh, D, DXY. 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 Yeah, oh, yeah, DXY. What's DXY? DXY. Uh, yeah, just right, USD index. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the total overall of the, um, all the major currency pairs combined with the US dollar, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it yet. It's loading. Right. Okay, what are you saying now? So now, um, uh, uh, just go, what time frame is that again? Four. Four oh, yes, that's fine. That's, yes, that's good enough. So uh, if you can see uh, by our level, there's a level whereby we just broke out. Can you see it? I don't know if you can. Yeah, yeah, we broke out of this uh, support. Yeah. yeah, that support. So um, since we're looking at a buy at a USD czar, uh, are we saying that... um? We're going back to that same position and we're going to consolidate until there's a, a major event that's going to help us to really have a, a decent enough breakthrough to either buy or sell the czar. Or do you think by this couple of months or the next month, 
the USD is going to just consolidate wherever or where it was playing around those areas. I don't know if you get me. I get you, man. Look, look, look what's going to happen here. Okay. This is, this is basically okay. DXY. Okay. The dollar is about to get yeah. really strong. Okay. In the next uh, two months. Okay. Uh, so you, you're looking at something like this taking place. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay uh, what were the fundamental bases that you were looking at when you were talking about that the dollar is going to get uh, stronger? The, the economies of the world are in a mess right now. America got $6 trillion from Trump for, for COVID relief. So generally speaking, their economy is okay. Despite them losing millions of jobs, they can recover faster than anyone because they've got so, yeah. they've got so many businesses. Uh, running and operating, okay, and they've got many uh -huh. uh, their first world country. So, which means technology, uh -huh. Wi-Fi, uh, internet connection. It's 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 uh, more preferable for them to work from home. It's easier than in countries uh -huh. like South Africa, for instance. We don't have uh, e-commerce platforms. We don't have eBay. We don't have you know Amazon. We don't have you know those companies are hiring all all those people that are working in America. Majority of them. Uh -huh. So, for our economy to recover, it's nearly impossible right now. It's going to take at least mm -hmm. three years. But for the U.S. to recover, they can do it in 18 months or half the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they've developed those kind of businesses. They've got Facebook. Mm -hmm. they've got this, and all the people working outside of America that are working on their e-commerce platforms, they're making money for America, not for their home countries. Because these home countries mm -hmm. have never invested. Instead, they decided to you know, uh, try and you know, restrict online businesses. And that's a sad mm -hmm. part. Africa is not really investing in, you know, uh, innovative ideas. So you've got this thing where America right now, it's going to be moving faster in terms of getting back things to normal, right? So they're going to mm -hmm. develop the economy much quicker and they're going to be able to handle COVID much quicker because of the, the medical resources, hospitals, they've got experts, they've got, you know, so much equipment, they've got so many, they manufacture all that stuff in-house and they're going to be mm -hmm. selling a lot of the other stuff for COVID relief back to other countries like third world countries and, you know, are the first world countries. So the dollars are going to get a whole lot stronger because why Trump is a very, 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 very strong candidate to be president again. Yeah. Uh huh. So if he's okay. president again, he's a, he's, he's a businessman. So here you are, mm -hmm. you've got a ruthless businessman who's already shown that he's, he, he's not a pushover. He, he, he knows what he's doing. And then you got, then you got other African countries or, you know, Middle East um, where like Dubai, for instance, they're going through a mess right now. Because they've depended on property and no one is looking for, for, for vacations right now. They, they've depended on tourism. South Africa is also a big tourist destination. The borders are only going to get opened, international borders, in Jan, bro. In January, bro. That's a so, mess. Tourism okay, industry in South Africa is going to take a massive knock. Hotels are going to lose money. Mm -hmm. Airlines losing money by the day. They're going to need bailouts and all that jazz. So the, the, the dollar is going to get strong because it's an entrepreneurial, business-oriented economy whereas others so, mm -hmm. so what pushed uh, the czar because we saw the 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 czar going very very strong against the major currencies right during the past last week if we look at your czar uh, despite this week which it has pushed out a bit talking about this uh, week, my, yeah yeah the, the the big move yeah there was a, a, actually a very very big move on downside so what necessarily pushed the czar so down and like, and I heard that we actually going to a level one next month. I, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I heard that. So I think uh, the, the economy will be able to recover. So I was just wondering that there was a huge move down actually. What actually, actually pushed it so? No, it's so just a market moving, my brother. Look at this, look at this, look where we come from. If you look at April, we were sitting at 19, 20 rand. Okay, 19 rand, uh -huh, 19, rand uh -huh. 19 rand for the thing. So all of this is just a retrace. Okay, it's just a, it's just a one massive retrace. All of this is just, it's just the market recovering from that huge push up. Look, look at this push up here. So this is not a recovery. There's no way this is a recovery. Look at this. This was, this was serious uh, slaughter. Okay, we were being slaughtered here by the international. Look at that. So uh -huh. there's no, if, there, if this was a recovery, we would be sitting here right now. 
we haven't even more than half to that. You understand what mm -hmm. I mean? And okay. you, must, you must understand that is just the beginning of COVID-19. Okay. But the aftermath, the aftermath, it hasn't begun. So the, the economy here is trying to recover. You can see that it's trying to recover, right? Uh -huh. But remember, look at this. Let me show you a, a big secret when you do lines and all that jazz, when you do your technical analysis. This is a massive support level. Can you see that? Where we are right now. No, no, this one right here. This is a massive. Oh, okay, okay. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. Massive. It runs all the way from 2019. Look at this. It runs all the way back to 2019. Look at this. Back to 2018. Can you see this massive? Can you see this? That's very massive, yeah. Massive support level, right? Now, let me show you why that is important, okay? goes all the way back to let's go to 2018 2018 right there 2018 so that if 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 you're using a seesaw that is the fat guy on the seesaw okay mm -hmm. that guy who's got weight okay now imagine the fat guy gets off the seesaw what happens to you Pew! to the top right because he's the I'm fat down. guy right he's keeping you this weight was keeping everything in check stability right but the fat guy jumps off the seesaw you jump all the way in the air there you down there so what happens is the fat guy slowly starts sitting on the seesaw again right but because of this 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 equation needs to balance itself out so you draw another uh, arrow here right which which is another jacob's ladder okay so you can draw this as a as a massive uh, 90 degree to the perpendicular. So you got that God speaking there, boom. So God spoke uh -huh. in uh, January 2020. Then you've got a massive support level that needs to be maintained. So then guess what happens? Uh -huh. You need to now balance that out with the current market direction. Okay. So the market went down, boom. So you see that we add a unique isosceles triangle here. Right? I can so the market that. direction is not going to come down here because of what? This particular uh, favorable position here, which is a Rachel's anointing here. So you need to basically do what? Go in this direction. So this is the direction the market is going, going forward. It's going up. Okay. It's not going to come down okay. because of what? This doesn't have enough momentum to push, to counter this particular long-term support level. Okay. So that's why do you think this 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 line matches exactly with the point that I'm talking about here? That's why I've decided to teach you through the Rachel anointing. Because it's not me who decided to tell you about it, it's the Holy Spirit. So if the Holy Spirit says, Listen, teach your team or teach them about Rachel anointing, it's because the Holy Spirit has seen something that's about to take place. A massive counter of this particular downward movement. So it's only now about about to bounce off. And go and go like way up, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna go up. So, and that's basically because there is no way our economy can recover from this right now. Impossible. What's gonna make us recover? What? The, what? What? Which yeah. business? Uh, what I wanna understand from from. Let's brainstorm here together. Which business does South Africa have that can boost the economy right now? None. Can we say it's mining? Uh -huh. Gold. Gold. Okay, it's mining. Can we can gold. we manufacture gold fast enough now uh, than we did in the past? Uh -huh. With all the COVID nineteen regulations, is production faster now or producing gold or slower? Slower. Why? Because of all the regulations that are there. Well, you gotta wear masks. You gotta know. You gotta get checked out. The temperature. That that's time. If you got a workforce of work, workforce of six thousand people in the mine working on on a thing, they're not going to produce more gold. They're going to produce less and less gold. Does that the less gold production in the company does that produce more investor confidence or less? Less. Do you sell more gold or do you do you, do you, do you, do, you, do you sell less gold? Less gold. You can't sell more gold. If you're producing less gold. 
So which means if everything you're depending on is on commodities, if you're making less, and that goes the same thing for agriculture or whatever, anything okay. manufacturing. And again, remember, retail. What, what determines the strength of an economy? Jobs. Okay. Are people, are, getting, are people getting more jobs right now or are people getting more retrenchments right now? People are losing jobs more. So can the economy recover now or can we start businesses that will hire millions of people right now? No, not at all. It's going to be difficult. When we're starting a business is not a child's play. It takes like some hundred year old businesses have closed. If, I mean, Heineken has closed production in Africa, South Africa. They have closed production. They don't want to make it anymore because of the cost. It is, it's costing them too much. So which means how many people were working for Heineken? You understand? Okay. So, wow. And right now, there were strict regulations on alcohol. How much money did all these businesses lose in the last five months? They've lost billions. How do they recover mm -hmm. those billions? It's not like they got billions sitting there. They have to now pay staff. They have to keep the thing running. They have to keep the business afloat. It, it's, 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 it's tough. Really tough. That's why people, let me, let me give you another statement. I want to say the statement because a lot of people are missing out on this. People think that because I've never been through a depression, that I'm never, it's never going to happen. It's like if you think of, if, 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 if Steve Harvey never, do you think Steve Harvey ever thought he was going to be homeless? No. 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 Until the day he was homeless. And apparently he was homeless about five times. So there are people who think because I've been living a comfortable life and South Africa has never gone through a depression and our economy is stable, especially people who work for banks. And I told you guys, Two banks are going to close down. It's a fact. If God spoke it, it's going to happen. So you're going to be asking yourself, how does a bank close down? Let me tell you something. When the, when the currency changes, when the currency loses value, and people stop using that currency, and they move over to cryptocurrency, that is when it's going to, because why? The markets are going to be too unstable. There won't be any fast enough development, right? Because why? There's no innovation and research. Like we're studying, that's the foundation of a racial anointing. There's not enough development and research. And right now, there's about 16 million youth in South Africa who are unemployed. Okay. Where are they supposed to get jobs? Because in the last 16 years, no one is funding their businesses. Uh -huh. I mean, if, if you go check the stats now, you know, you can, you guys, I don't have to talk about this. You guys can go to Mr. Busi Tembaguayo's videos and you, he will explain to you clearly what's about to happen is not a joke. It's dead serious. It's dead serious, like depression. Let me, go, let me show you what, what, what the, the I, I posted this particular video, uh, this particular article, uh, no money for South Africa. For the next three years. Three years, okay. Now, maybe some people think I'm just a pessimist, okay? But this is, this is uh, all over the news, okay? Business Insider, okay, check at this. South Africa has no extra money available for the next three years. Does, does that sound like an economy that's recovering? No, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so let's go to the page here. The South African National Treasury sounds important, right? Says there are no additional resources available for the government's departments in the next three years. Any additional allocations will have to be funded from reductions and other programs. Meaning, it's a downsizing. Everything that we had by the budget, you have to know every dollar has to be stretched either within the department management or from another department budget, according to the document presented by Edgar Sisi, the acting head of the budget office, the National Economic Development Labor Council this week said by Bloomberg, the treasury said in a supplementary budget presented in June that it planned to raise an additional 40 billion rand, $2.4 billion in revenue the next four years. That's peanuts, guys, to recover. Remember, we took out a loan of 350 billion or 500 billion. We still have to pay that loan. We took a loan from China for $200 billion. We still have to pay that loan. Mm. 
we took money from the World Bank. We still have to pay that money. So right now, they're telling you in advance, there's no money. There is no money for the next year. Do they in reality pay back those loans? Sorry? Do they in reality pay back those loans? No way. How? <laughs> How? With what money? <laughs> They give you a loan because they know you can't pay it back. I guess that's the aim, is for you to pay them forever. So Can we control silver signal? That is why you guys don't need to understand that why God is raising you as forex traders. The only way Africa will survive this situation is if we produce enough forex traders who will download money from foreign currency markets in first world countries while they're in Africa. Do you guys understand? Do you guys get the picture of why I'm teaching you this stuff and I'm, why I'm so passionate and why the prophet has assigned me to teach you guys this particular season is because God expects you guys to become millionaires and billionaires in this trading market because that's the only way, the solution that you guys have right now. Amen. Okay. Got to take uh, it I, I, I have one more question. Eh? Yes. Oh, two more actually. Is that, um, so, um, ba, ba, ba. So um, when we're looking at the USD, right, um, we just looked at it right now, is that, um, is it gonna, do you think it's gonna perform good also against major currencies? Cause if I was looking at AUD today uh, and, and I looked at um, uh, AUD, USD, AUD actually performed very good. It went very, very high. I think it rechased uh, not so long ago. Uh, I looked at a USR. Um, it also went very, very high. It actually broke its highest form. I don't know if you did see for euros or yeah, yeah, uh, euros are did break its highest form, but it went back into its retracement area. So, um, when we not euros, I mean, I mean, USD, I mean, USD, um, USD, euro, euro, USD, it actually broke and consolidated back. So um, when I was looking at like uh, the major currencies, I saw that um, these currencies are actually doing very good against the dollar. And then um, my other question is that um, since the- Well, that, that, that's because they're, they're stronger currencies in the sense that they are major currencies. You know, remember when you're seeing Euro USD, the first currency is stronger than the second. So they are obviously doing well against the dollar because they are stronger currencies economies than the dollar right now. But all the exotics, the weaker currencies, will not do well against the dollar. They're not. They're not. Okay, okay. I really understand that. Uh, and then um, is that, you see, as we're getting the NFP um, uh, this weekend, uh, on Friday, I mean, it's coming out. Do you think that um, if it uh, comes out um, negatively, Due because uh, USA did have it had to close due to the second uh, like rise of the pandemic. They were they had very high numbers, so some companies had to cl close. And due to the um, uh, riot that's happening that side, I mean, but so many businesses are operating. So do you think that um, I don't know if you get me, but do you think that uh, going to the NFP, since we're looking at those fundamental bases. Do you think we're gonna the NFP is gonna fall? Uh, or well, it depends, man. Um, in terms of NFP, uh, it's I'm not a big fan of it. You know, like in a sense that I, I prefer I, I make the same amount of profits in a normal trading environment than not NFP. NFP is a bit risky for uh, people who are like conservative traders like myself. So if you're going to trade NFP and you're analyzing the fundamentals uh, of that particular uh, economic uh, activity in America, let's go to NFP this week, probably this week, let's say tomorrow, this week, let's see. Uh, that's probably going to happen. Non-farm payroll, what is that? Yeah. Non-farm payrolls, that's going to happen. Okay, let's look at the stats on NFP for the last month or so uh you got a previous uh result of uh 4700 okay let's just check it there you've got a previous result of 4700 
Okay, just look at the, the results here. August was a, uh, July was a very good month for them. August came down and now it's bottoming out so it's it seems like it's going to be bottomed out so i don't i think that nfp i would when i trade nfp i trade gold so I'll, I'll, I'll put my money behind the gold and i'll put my money behind the euro so like you said the euro was really strong i think the euro will continue to you know rise uh on on the on the nfp uh results i feel like the euro will become stronger as you can see, it was going up and up and up and up and up. And I've already given you guys these prophecies and it's actually hit the TP. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. It's hit the TP one I gave you already. I've already given the signal before. Uh, and maybe it will be this particular NFP that causes it to jump out of this TP and go all the way near this TP. So uh, uh, do you feel like before the market really, really moves, the to see for us to see volatility, we're going to have to wait until the news come out. You're probably going to see volatility during, during the next few days leading up to NFP. So okay. it, it, will, it okay. will build up. It will be a build up. You know, just watch okay. this activity. But uh, anything that happens now is going to be a build up to that up, uptrend. So... You can choose to, it's going to be a boomerang effect. It's, it's, going, it's going generally in that uptrend uh, direction because you can see that here right now we have a highway of holiness taking place here where you've got a tunnel right there taking place. So whatever, whatever, even if it comes back down, it's going to go back up. So it's about your timing to, to enter the market at the right time. Right? Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. there's going to be a build up. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's, it's not going to go beyond less, less than this EP uh, of the previous signal that we gave. It's gonna, it can come down, but then you got to time it in the going up. Okay, you got to time it, but it won't go beyond this particular highway of holiness. It's going to stay, it's going to stand there and it's going to, you know, probably hit there and then go like there. Or it can just turn up or tomorrow it can just shoot up. It depends because right now it's on an all-time high. Basically. It's an all-time high. So you can tell, this, these are indications, guys, that the, 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 there's something serious. Look how much the dollar has moved up to the, to the euro. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The euro is strong, like very strong, very strong. Look at that jump all the way from there. And that was from June. That's two months. That's crazy drive going up. Okay, guys. So I have to wrap it up uh, for today. Um, hopefully we can go live tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please send me an email, deltaforexco at gmail.com and we can take it from there. Uh, can we end up the video today, guys, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. If you've got any questions, please, guys, send a question to deltaforexco at gmail.com uh, regarding your forex trading and I will surely get my team and myself to respond. So Instagram, thank you to Instagram for watching us. God bless you guys. Shalom. Shalom, everybody. Shalom. 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 Peace out. Peace out, guys. And I'll be posting the recording of this uh, tonight. I'm actually going to upload it right now. So it's just going to download the whole content and then I'll upload it on YouTube, send you guys a link on the uh, group. Hope you guys enjoyed your evening.